Okay, let's go ahead and talk about doing studies within statistics. So whenever we have our statistical question, whether it be about, uh, you know, what's the average distance uh, that the moon is from the earth, or maybe we're interested in the average weight of whales in the ocean, uh, whenever we have these questions, we've got to go out and collect data. And there's many different ways that we can go out and collect data. And we're going to specifically talk about some different types of studies that we can do. So the first that we can do is an observational observational study. And observational studies are done where we literally are just observing our subjects. Uh, sometimes we can do this by observe observe in lab, we can send out a survey, we can do questionnaires, uh, but we are really in these just doing observations about our subjects. Now contrastly we can also do kind of what is our gold standard is we can do what are called experimental experimental studies okay now the the big difference between an experimental study is instead of just asking people uh, about certain questions height gender experiments what we do is we actually go and we do treatments so we um, gather gather subjects and perform uh, treatments. So we do this all the time in pharmaceutical studies where we gather a large sample for the population for which we are interested. So maybe we're interested in giving this new drug to North American, um, anybody who lives in North America. So we'll get a good sample, uh, so a good representative sample of all of the, of, of our population. And then we split them into two groups and we randomly divide them into two groups. That randomization helps smooth out any of the uh, differences that might happen if we group similar people together. So we do a randomization and we put one person one set of people into we can say like the control one person into the control group and the other into the treatment and we actually make them do something so in the control group maybe we give them a placebo pill and the treatment group we give them our new drug and then we try to compare the differences of what's happening here we can actually say that hey as we ran this experiment we saw that the control group did not perform as well in you know maybe we're trying a new painkiller that the placebo was less effective at treating pain than a new pain medication and that could help you get through the FDA and we could actually assign cause and effect so experimental studies are really important because we can actually make those conclusions of cause and effect. Observational studies, we can only find correlation. And because we don't know all of the other factors going, um, all the other factors of these people, we haven't divided them into groups, we haven't given them a very specific treatment. Experimental studies are really important for science. And there are some other variations of them. Um, we can also talk about having them be blind experiments, blind or double blind. And oops, not bling, double blind. There we go. Okay, so a blind experiment is where the person who is receiving the treatment doesn't know if they are in the control or they're in the treatment. So they've written away on, on their waiver that they're okay with whatever group they're in, and the, the, um, the researcher gives them a pill. They don't know if it's the placebo or if it's the treatment. And that helps us uh, remove some of the placebo or the effects of the placebo effect or 
um, people react differently if they actually know if they're in the treatment group. Okay, so that would be a blind. Now double blind is even better. So double blind is where the person who's actually giving the patient the, the pill, they don't even know if that pill is the treatment or if it's the control. So neither the, the person administering the pill nor the person receiving the pill knows if it is the actual control or the treatment. Now somebody behind the scenes does know what's going on so they can actually tease out the results um, but the person handing the the pill and the person receiving the pill wouldn't know. So observational studies we have to do these a lot of times too because of ethical reasons. Sometimes we just can't do an experiment like is it ethical to give pregnant women and make them smoke to see what happens to the fetus. Well we've got pretty good um, intuition that smoking is bad for the fetus so that would be unethical to do an experiment like that. So sometimes we are forced to do observational studies.